All right, guys. I have to lay down on the ground to do this. I'm going to take my hat off. We're going to do one more quick check. No power. None. And it is on, so we're good to go. So let's remove these screws. All right, the only thing we're doing is replacing this cover. All right, I got a new, I do have a new uh, pad. We'll get that there. And this does, it doesn't say up or down, but it's common sense is what you read right there. It says wet location only when the cover is closed. In other words, this can get wet when it's closed. Um, nothing else anywhere else says up or down, but of course it's common sense. You're not going to read that upside down, wet locations. So we need to put it on this way. And there's that. Let me get this screw. I always said there's more important things to do right now. But I am going to wash this wall. So I do want to put the cover on. So I guess that is one reason why I'm doing this. Let's put that other one in there. And when I do wash the house anyway, I do shut the power off to these. Even though they're ground fault circuits. Um... I don't care about anything. It's better to have this stuff all turned off. Not worry about it. My life's far more important. Alright, we're closed. Now, I mean, I'm pretty sure water will get in down here, possibly, whatever, but that's what that... We have a log home. So it's hard to get a good seal. One good reason why we have porches, I've got my electrical, because rain doesn't hit here. But what I will do is when we wash the house and it gets ready for sealing and everything, when I go back together, I'll take this off and I will put a bead of silicone only across the top in here. Do not ever put anything on the bottom side. You want, if the water was to get in here, you want it to be able to come out the bottom. So this is after I wash the house after I stain it and clear it. I'll put this back on and then I'll put a, a silicone and I'll just go from the side right across here. I'll probably put it on first and then put this on there, smoosh it in there a little bit. And always leave the open on anything you do. If you do outdoor lighting on your house, always silicone from the top around the corner. Nothing on the bottom. You want whatever water that possibly could get in here to come out the bottom side. So there you go. We're set. We're good. We're good. This also does have a lock deal where you put in a, a little key thing in here and it locks the from people opening it up. Dry it goes straight on through. Right on through the top through there. So maybe little kids can't open it, you know. Anyway, alright, well that one's done. And um Alright, we got the power back on. And once again I'm gonna turn that on. And let's see if we got power out here. We are, as you can see, hot. I love this little tool. Guys, it can save your butt. If it's hot, if it's hot you're good. You know, you, 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 something else. This is simple, fast, and easy to have. I don't even remember the cost. I think it was five bucks or ten. They really don't make a difference. The worst part about it is, uh, yeah, made in China. Come on, guys. We can start making stuff around here. All right. On to my next project. I think Willow wants to go for a walk. So maybe we'll, we'll take her for a quick walk. All right. Yeah, let's go walk Willow. There's Happy. Let's go give her a walk. I need to spray some poison, guys, and I'm not wanting to. Right there. I've got... Uh, have you guys ever seen those bagworms or webworms or whatever they're called in trees? Zoom in. You can see little worms in there. OK, 
Okay, what happens is this time of year, the worms are always in, in the ground. They come out this time of year to multiply. They actually eat the leaves, the trees up. They will kill the tree. You can see the leaves on that are all ate up right around that area. So what's going on is these worms are having chow hound time. And what happens at the summer, fall time, they go back down a tree and they go into the ground. So when you spray this tree, we're going to spray the ground. We'll spray it real heavy in the ground. And we'll go straight up the trunk of the tree and hit this branch. And he'll get a couple others. We have another one. Now yeah, let's walk over there. Come on, Will. Let's go walk. And uh, I think I may be hitting it right now. Right from there. Oh, we got another one right there. When they come out, they come out bad. And you see it right here. There will, uh, we don't have to worry about them. That's probably what I'm going to do next because that was on my short list. Get them all done. Really, uh, this heat's becoming a issue. I, I just don't like the heat. Sorry, guys. I know so many people love heat. I can deal with winter 10 times better than summer. I can always put enough clothes on to stay warm. Always. I can, I can never take enough off to stay cool. You don't want to see me that way either. If you notice I'm rather large. Anyway. Let's go ahead and walk up here a little bit. Garden's looking pretty good. A few plants are over 5 foot tall. Tomatoes are doing great. Yep, one seed challenge is looking really good right there. Uh-huh, okra is looking good. And there's my, the rest of the, if I get all my decals put together right. Or not right, I just got them ordered and, and got them. That's my bad, I didn't even say it that way. There we go. I got them in all the vehicles. Grass is coming in real good. The new growth coming in all the bare spots. I've replanted all this. This is the only spot that doesn't grow much, but that's because I drive through here to my neighbor's house through the woods and he comes through here too. I do need to turn the water on though, sprinkle it. Hey, you're not going in the woods. No, ma'am. There's ticks out there. You're doing quite well right now. Let's not start something. Alright, what do you think? You done? You ready to go in? You done? You're panting. She don't drink water. She's got a bucket that's full of ice. She hates water. <laughs> she loves ice. And it's funny, she grabs a mouthful and just walks somewhere and sits down and just chews it. So you get ice laying everywhere. There it is. That's it. I'm going to go.